Sup guys, Monkey Bacon here from Sock Monkey Development. Today is a second tutorial on Love 2D Game Engine. If you did not see the first one, be sure to check out our channel and watch it because this one probably won't make that much much that much sense. Um, so in this tutorial, we're going to be covering a few things. I'm going to be talking a little bit more about game development. We're going to be learning how to draw text on the screen, and we're going to be learning how to change the background color of your screen. Um, now, let's talk about game development. Let me just say a few things about it. Um, game development is kind of, it's obviously, it seems very strict when you get into it. But once you learn all the basics and you, you're on your own and you're ready, it's all kind of what you want to do. They're like, let's, for example, in game programming, like player animations. There are a bazillion different ways to do a player animation. but it's just however you want to do it or like like let's use kinda of like a different example like a sandwich you had to learn how to make an actual sandwich all the basics you need bread cheese mayo of course mayo because it's delicious and meat I already said meat <laughs> and, but I mean it's your choice how what kind of bread you want what kind of meat how much meat how much cheese all that stuff um, I know the problem doesn't make sense right now but I promise you by the time we end these tutorials, it'll all make sense, and you'll be making billions off of your amazing games. Um, also, a game was released a couple of days ago that I probably should talk about and hopefully don't get hated on for commenting on this amazing game, but Mario, it is super awesome st by Stab Yourself. I've been watching the blog forever, waiting for this game. I was about to explode once it came out. It is super awesome. Nice job. Nice job. Guys. Um, yeah, so definitely check that out. It's free. It's sweet. It was made with Love2D, so hopefully that's a big inspiration. It was for me. Um, yeah, so let's get started with drawing text on the screen. Now, let me just say that there are a couple of things in a game engine that you're going to have to memorize, but I promise you, once you type it in a couple of times, it will be printed into your brain and you will never forget it. Um, so, there are three things we have to do to draw text on the screen. I know, it sounds crazy. And they're not all required, but they're all very good, and it's, if you're making a large program, you're going to need to do this. Um, and let me just say, these things that we're going to have to be memorizing, you can find them on the Love2D wiki. And I know it's L-O with the two little dots above it, V-E, but I prefer just to say Love2D, it's a lot easier for me. Um, anyways. Just saying that because I got a lot of hate comments in the, the forums. Hurt, hurt guys. Um, yeah, so, three components of drawing text on the screen. One of them is actually drawing the text on the screen. But before we do that, we're going to have to set a font and set a color. So, before we set a font, we're going to have to create a font. So, it's not creating a font every frame because that would freeze your computer totally and I'll elaborate more on that in a later tutorial but for now we're going to have to create a font and there is a default well uh, I, I'm kind of explaining this wrong we don't create a font we load a font there we go we load a font so there there are, are actually not that many ways to do this but what we're going to do we're going to set kind of just like a medium font so type in medium and then say equals Oh, sorry. Equals love dot graphics dot new font. Capital F in font. No space between new and font. And then we're going to type in let's just say forty five and then end parentheses. So this line right here. So medium equals. Equals. I should talk about this real quick. Variables. Variables are what everything in game programming is based around. Every, I mean, it's not based around, but it is one of the main key components of programming a game. For example, think back in middle school, elementary school, when you were talking about variables, and the teacher on the screen, the teacher on the whiteboard, don't copy what I'm typing right now, but just like he would say, okay, x equals 12, y equals 2, x plus y equals and when he said x, you would know it meant 12, and when he said y, you would know it meant 2. Um, so if you saw 
these two parts right here, you know exactly how to solve this equation. 14. And this is a key component because if you think think about a player's position. Think when you think about a player's position or position on a screen, which we'll be talking about when we place the text on the screen. There's an X and a Y position. It's the whole screen is kind of like a grid of pixels. And there's an X and a Y position. And it's just exactly how you'd imagine a normal grid like in math class, except for the zero of the X or the I'm sorry, the zero of the Y isn't at the bottom left of the screen. It's at the bottom, or it's at the top right of this, or, oh my god. The y, the zero of the y-axis is not at the bottom of the screen. It is at the top of the screen. And I'm not sure what the reason for this is, but it's pretty common in most game programming languages and all that. So that, again, will make a lot more sense when we use it, which we will be using it in this tutorial. So, let me just explain what this is. We're setting medium to we're well right here we are creating a font we're initializing a font we're loading a font and right here we're setting it to a variable so now like i said let's like if we set x to 12 when we set medium to a font whenever we use medium it knows we're using that font also this command right here is there's a lot of there's one more thing you can type in in here and if we're actually, like, using a downloaded font for our game, or a self-created font. But right now we're just using the default font, so we don't need to type anything else. I'll probably explain that when we get into really advanced tutorials. Um, yes, so, medium equals love.graphics.new font 45. 45 is kind of like the size of how big the text is. Um, so you can just mess around with those numbers. If you've ever used pages, there's like a font option. I'm pretty sure the numbers are actually the same, um, scale-wise. So, now we have to set the font. Since we have a variable and we loaded the font into the variable, we're going to set a font to the variable. So to do that, it's the exact same, but instead of new font, we type set font. So love.graphics.set font, and then in parentheses, instead of typing 45, we just have to type medium, since we already loaded the font. If we didn't type medium equals if we didn't set th all of this to a variable we would have had to type all of that inside of here which can get a little laggy on your game for kind of it, it's just not a very organized way to code um the variables is always an organized way it's a safe way to go and there are actually many types of variables but right now i am not going to get into that um so We've set the font, so now whenever we put text on the screen, it will be in that font. Let's do that right now. Let's draw our first bit of text. So, there are two ways, kind of, I mean, there are a lot of ways to do this, but there are two ways that I like to draw text. Either we could draw what I like to call raw text, or we could draw a variable text. So what I mean by this, so just type, copy what I'm typing, love.graphics.print. So, as you can see, anything that has to do with drawing, usually says love.graphics.something. Anything that has to do with drawing or printing kind of has a love.graphics.something. And that has to do with how the game engine was made with C++. Um, but just so you remember, so like, instead, if we wanted to draw something, we'd type love.graphics, but instead of .print, we'd type .draw. Uh, so, but we're using print because we're printing text on the screen. And we set the font already, so what we're going to do is in parentheses for anything that's in parentheses by the way is called an argument and the first argument in here is going to be inside of quotation marks and is going to be what the text actually is now so since the first argument is what the text is there are two ways of doing this we could set a variable of the text or we could just type it in right there so just it's just like x equals 12, right? Like if x equals 12 and what's 2 plus x? Don't type that in because, I mean, it's totally pointless. Just, just a lesson. But, I mean, if we typed in text equals high, if we printed the word, if we printed the variable text, it would be exactly the same as just printing this. It's just saying that this is exactly the same as that.
So whenever you type this in, it always means that. So right here, we could type in hi. Or since we have a variable called text that equals hi, we could just type in text. And we would not need the quotation marks because we already have them set inside of the variable, which is actually how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to set, if, if it is being printed on the screen or there are some other cases that I'll explain later, you have to put quotation marks around them while they're being set. Um, that probably doesn't make too much sense. Sorry, but just know that don't put quotation marks around your variables ever, ever. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so the second argument in love.graphics.print is the X position on the grid that is the computer screen, or the game window, sorry. Um, so the X, so that's basically the zero of the X on the on the grid of our game window starts. Like l let's say this text wrangler text wrangler uh, document was our window game window. So the zero of the X would start out right here. So if we set like 200, it would be somewhere around here. If we set 500, it would be somewhere around here. If we set zero, it would be all the way over here. And so I'm just gonna set mine to 200. Doesn't really matter how big where it is as long as it's not like two bazillion million quadrillion. And then the third and last argument, well not the last argument, but the last argument we're going to use is the Y position. And the zero of the Y, like I said, starts up here. So if we use 20, it would be like right around here, 200, all that stuff. Um, I'm just going to do 200 again, kind of get a little, kind of in the middle view. So now if we ran it, what would happen is we'd just see the word high in a medium sized font at 200 and 200. But what we're going to do, actually, let, let, I'm going to run that right now. You guys don't have to, but I'm going to. And actually, yes, do run it, because I'm going to teach you how to make, how to run your Love 2D games. Um, first thing, actually, you're going to need to do a Love 2D. Since we're going to just be testing it, we're not going to package it or anything, which I'll explain probably in the last tutorial. Um, we need to make a dot, what is called a dot love. Like I explained in the first tutorial. Whenever there's a dot in a file name, anything after it is exact is what type of file it is. So ours, our file is going to be a dot l o v e for love two d. Um, so what we have to do is all the contents inside of your game folder, not the actual game folder itself, but everything inside of the game folder. You have to. This is the same for Windows and Linux. I'm not sure how you do it on a Windows or a Linux, but I know how to do it on a Mac. But what you have to do is compress all the contents down into a dot zip. So once you have that dot zip, all you have to do is rename it from dot zip to dot love. And as long as there's a dot love at the very end of the file name, the name the anything before that dot love can be anything you want. So now, since you have Love 2D downloaded on your computer, it automatically knows to run this and Oh, snap, main.lua9, I forgot to do something. Where's line 9? Oh, oh, it was that dumb little example I printed. Okay. So let me just press this all over again. This is a really long tutorial. I'm sorry if you guys are annoyed by how extremely long this is. Um, okay, so we run it. Yay, it says hi. So I guess I'll be describing how to set colors in the next tutorial because I'm running really low on time. <laughs> Um, I hope this helped. It's been Monkey Bacon with from Soft Monkey Development. Signing off. Post comment. Tell your friends.